The world of The Witcher has captivated readers and viewers alike. From the pages of Andrzej Sapkowski's novels to the immersive experience of the Netflix series, the saga of Geralt of Rivia has become a cultural phenomenon. Fans are drawn to its intricate storytelling, complex characters, and the dark, enchanting world it portrays. Dark fantasy and Slavic folklore intertwine, creating a rich tapestry of monsters, magic, and moral ambiguity. The Witcher universe is a place where the lines between good and evil blur, and every choice carries weighty consequences. This unique blend of myth and reality offers a fresh take on the fantasy genre, making it both compelling and thought-provoking. At the heart of this world stands Geralt of Rivia, a witcher, a mutated monster hunter for hire. With his silver sword and alchemical potions, Geralt battles the creatures that lurk in the shadows. His journey is one of survival, duty, and the search for his own humanity amidst the chaos. But what of his beginnings? How did Geralt become the legendary figure we know today? His story is one of transformation from a young boy to a formidable warrior. Vijmin Rozdroj Krukov, The Witcher, Crossroads of Crows, a new prequel, delves into Geralt's formative years. This highly anticipated addition to The Witcher saga promises to reveal the untold stories of his youth, shedding light on the experiences that shaped him. It explores the making of a legend. Through rigorous training, harrowing trials, and encounters with both friends and foes, young Geralt's path is fraught with challenges that test his resolve and shape his destiny. What mysteries await us in Geralt's youth? The prequel promises to uncover the secrets of his early adventures, the friendships he forged, and the enemies he made. Each step in his journey adds a new layer to the complex character we have come to admire. What trials and tribulations forged him into the stoic and skilled Witcher we know? The answers lie in the untold chapters of his life, where every challenge he faced, every battle he fought, and every choice he made contributed to the making of a legend. As we delve into this new prequel, we prepare to witness the dawn of a Witcher. Rosdroja Krukov throws us into the crucible of Geralt's early training at Kaer Morhen. Barely a teenager, ripped from his family, he endures the brutal trial of the grasses. This gruelling process few survive. Mutations grant witches enhanced abilities, but at a terrible cost. We witness Geralt's resilience as his body is pushed to its absolute limit. The process is agonizing, dehumanizing, yet it is also a bond forged in shared suffering, creating a brotherhood amongst the surviving witches. Central to a witch's arsenal are his swords, one steel for men, one silver for monsters. These blades are not just weapons, they are lifelines, meticulously crafted to serve distinct purposes in the witch's perilous journey. Roz Droja Krukov reveals the origin of Geralt's iconic blades. Each sword tells a story, a tale of craftsmanship and magic intertwined. The steel sword, forged for human adversaries, is a testament to the blacksmith's skill and the witch's need for precision in battle. We see him forge these weapons, not just in fire, but also through imbuing them with powerful runes, each rune carefully chosen to enhance the blade's effectiveness against specific foes. The process is as much an art as it is a science, requiring deep knowledge of both metallurgy and magic. Drawing upon the world's magical energy, this energy is harnessed through ancient rituals and spells, binding the very essence of the earth into the metal. The silver sword in particular is a marvel of magical engineering designed to combat the supernatural creatures that lurk in the shadows. These swords are not merely tools, but extensions of the Witcher himself, reflecting his strength, skill, and determination. Each grip 
each swing is a dance of life and death, a testament to the Witcher's training and resolve, imbued with his power and purpose. The runes glow with an ethereal light, a constant reminder of the magic that courses through the Witcher's veins and the blades he wields. They are symbols of his commitment to his chosen path, a path fraught with danger and moral complexity. Every step he takes, every battle he fights, is a step deeper into a world where the lines between good and evil blur, and the only constants are his swords and his unwavering resolve. Roz Droja Krukov doesn't shy away from the ethical dilemmas inherent in a witch's life. Geralt, newly trained, faces his first contracts, confronting monstrous beasts and morally grey situations. He grapples with prejudice against his kind. The lines between good and evil blur. He learns that monsters come in many forms, some wearing human faces. These experiences challenge his perception of the world and shape his developing moral compass. Section 5 Echoes of the Past. In this chapter, we delve into the rich history and the profound impact of the past on the present. The echoes of bygone eras reverberate through time, influencing the world we know today. Widjmin Rozdroja Krukov is a prequel, but it resonates with the themes and events of the main saga. It takes us back to a time when the world was still young and the forces that shaped it were just beginning to stir. The choices Geralt makes as a young witcher have lasting consequences. The relationships he forges, the lessons learned, and the battles fought all contribute to the man he becomes. Each decision, each encounter, leaves an indelible mark on his soul. They echo through his life, resonating in the quiet moments and the tumultuous ones alike. The whispers of the past are never far, always reminding him of where he came from and what he stands for, shaping the destiny of the White Wolf. His journey is not just about the battles he fights, but also about the internal struggles and the moral dilemmas he faces. The prequel offers us a glimpse into these formative years. The prequel offers us a deeper understanding of the events that shaped Geralt's worldview, his cynicism, and his unwavering commitment to neutrality. It reveals the scars that time and experience have etched into his being, and his unwavering commitment to neutrality. This neutrality is not born out of indifference, but out of a deep understanding of the complexities of the world. It is a stance that requires immense strength and conviction. It adds layers to his already complex character. Each layer, each nuance, makes Geralt a more compelling and relatable figure. The echoes of the past are not just a backdrop, but a vital part of his story, enriching the narrative and deepening our connection to the White Wolf. Section 6. The Shaping of a Legend Rosdroja Krukov is a coming-of-age story, chronicling Geralt's transformation from a lost boy into a hardened witcher. It's a journey of self-discovery, fraught with danger, hardship, and moments of unexpected grace. We see the events that moulded his character, his unwavering loyalty to those he holds dear, and his deep-seated compassion, often hidden beneath a gruff exterior. Section 7. Journey to the Crossroads. Weijmin. Rozdroja Krukov promises to be a thrilling addition to the Witcher universe. It offers a glimpse into the making of a legend, unveiling the experiences that forged Geralt of Rivia into the complex and compelling character we know. The exploration of Geralt's early years is a journey no Witcher fan will want to miss. Prepare to delve into a world of monsters, magic, and the making of a legend. Section 8. Your voice.